Hey everybody, this is Mr. Wyrick. I'm here, I'm, I'm sweaty. We had a tennis meet today and I'm gonna take you through these notes for probability. Uh, on the first one, what is probability? Probability is the likelihood of something happening. It's, um, you can calculate the probability of flipping a coin and ending up on heads, flipping a coin and ending up on tails. And as you get into more advanced stuff, sorry, uh, you can calculate the probability of maybe a team winning a game or the probability that someone's gonna make a free throw and stuff like that. And you can really uh, do some super cool stuff with probability. I like it a whole lot. So how do we express probability? It's all, this is the third slide, by the way. Probability is a ratio of uh, favorable outcomes to all outcomes. So you, all of the possible outcomes go on like the bottom of the fraction and the ones that are good go up on the top. So the odds of you just randomly picking the team that is going to win the NCAA tournament, there are 68 teams. So if you just close your eyes and point at one at random, you have a one in 68 chance of getting that right. Now that doesn't mean that it's gonna be perfect odds because obviously some teams are better and therefore more likely. Uh, the one that's on the slide, if you flip a coin, you can either come up heads or tails. So there's only two outcomes. And whatever you call, I call heads when you flip it, that's one good outcome. So it's one over two or one out of two. Um, you can have it as a ratio, um, one to two. And people will say things like 50-50 or 50%. Um, but on the worksheet that you're gonna do today, it's just one out of this, or um, it's more like a fraction, okay? Um, you can calculate, especially if you know, like free throw percentages, the odds of making like six in a row, something like that. Uh, compound probability. Compound probability is that that thing. Okay, this is the fourth slide here. Um, the compound probability is is calculating something happening over and over and over again, or when more than one thing is involved. Hello. Um, thanks, bud. Uh, if you are playing rock paper scissors, that's compound probability. You have three things that you could possibly choose from. You can hit the rock, you can hit the paper, you can hit the scissors, and then your opponent also has three things to choose from. So when you calculate the odds of winning rock, paper, scissors, you have to do compound probability. There are, um, if I choose rock, then there's three possible combinations from that. If I choose paper, there are three more combinations from that. And if I choose scissors, there are three more combinations from that. So there are nine wow. different possible hey. rock, scissors. paper, scissors, shoot. We tied rock, paper, scissors, shoot. We tied again, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, oh, you beat me, okay? <coughs> Anytime you play, if you're just picking yours at random, then you have um, uh, one possible outcome out of those nine. But three of those outcomes out of those nines are you winning. Three of them are tie and three of them are losses. Uh, the next one, uh, <laughs> it talks about the experimental probability, theoretical probability, which we will get to in later lessons again. Um, but it, it says, but I flipped a coin and it landed on heads 25 times in a row. Yes, probability doesn't always work out the way that you expect it to. So you have to understand that we are dealing with theoretical probability. This is how things should happen, not always how they do happen. So the experimental probability is, is the real world. These are the results. And usually over time, it kind of levels out. <coughs> you might flip a coin and it'll land on heads 25 times in a row. But if you flip that same coin a thousand times, then probably it's gonna be about 500 on heads and 500 on tails, no matter how many times it landed on one in a row. Uh, you do need to watch out for the words and or or. When you start combining things, it changes the odds. It changes the probability. If I'm going to roll a one on a regular die, then I have a one in six chance of rolling that one. If it says I can roll a one or a two, then the one is one out of six. The two is one out of six, and I put them together. That's two out of six or a one in three chance of rolling a one or a two. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, if I have to roll a one and then another one, that's compound probability. I need to multiply them again. 
So one out of six and one out of six, it's a one in 36 chance of getting that done. And slide number seven, the last slide, the practice problems. If we're calculating the probability of the following, if you roll a die, what are the chances of rolling a two? There's one two on it, there's six sides, so it's a one in six chance of rolling a two. The next question, if you roll a die, what is the probability that you will roll an even number? There's still six sides on that exact same cube, and you have two, four, and six, so there are three good outcomes there. So that's a three in six chance or a uh, one in two chance of rolling an even number. Then the last one, a bag contains three red marbles, three blue marbles, and one green marble. If a marble is drawn from the bag at random, uh, means you don't look, you just stick your hand in and pull. Uh, what is the probability that the marble will be blue? Again, all the possible choices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marbles, and one, two, three of them are blue. So that's a three out of seven chance. Um, there's gonna be just a worksheet kind of attached to this. Uh, what I want you to do, if you can, um, digitally just kind of annotate your path that you took or um, open up like a on the create page and say, hey, the first one was this, the second one was this, it should be a maze. Uh, so it tells you where to start and you should go through every single square on it and you should use the stuff in a specific order. Um, good luck on it. And um, for those of you that are um, freshmen that are having to take the test, I do want you to finish this, but I'll kind of baby walk you through it. So if you do get stuck on this, just again, kind of wait till I come back and I'll help you out. Thanks.